Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, it's an update on the landscape. Not that one, that one. It's a glorious day in Minnesota. The sun is shining. We're hitting the 70s again. The birds are singing. And it's time for my first trimming for the landscape challenge. So just a short little nip and cut uh, here to see what's gonna happen down the road possibly with the landscape challenge. So let's give you the 360 real quick. So here's the secondary front. If you all recall, this is a traditional left to right big pot, but it's not the vision I had in mind. But as we spread around, come around to the right side. We can get that long view. You can see the hay bales in here, I hope, and the big uh, quote unquote oak tree in the field, and all the uh, zelkovas, the Japanese elms, growing ferociously. There's the back. Now we've had it outside for about a week, and look at the grass greening up here, the quote unquote grass. This is the sphagnum moss. A lot of green color there. It's gonna start to get that into shape. We come around here to the the not so typical proposed front. And from this angle, we can see the car coming down the country road and we can see through, we can see the hay bales. We got the big hail tractor here and the truck in the background. Now to get the view that I really hoped everybody got, I moved up close for you. And so now here at about eye level, midway up the trees is a look through the forest. So again, you can see the car, you can see the uh, hay tractor, and you can kind of see that tree in the background, but it's blocked by the leaves in the foreground right in here. But if we put that aside, look at the tree back there in the distance. So these are all big. We have to do something about that. We'll finish the spin now back to the other front, the more traditional front. And there we have our forest. So today, a really short trim, a really short prune to get these trees back in check. Now we do have the bigger trees on the left side of the forest and they go down this way, again for the forest perspective from this angle. So we'll do the first uh, big trees first. And these came outside again about a week ago. We have some uh, leaves that are not super strong. They're getting a little bit uh, weathered from being outside here. Used to the light, not in full sun. But we're gonna cut these back a little bit to uh, promote some possible back budding already. So it was nice to see these grow so well inside, but now they're gonna have the, the, the um, wonderfulness of sun, the true sun. We have all kinds of budding in here, potential buds all the way up and down these trees, and we're gonna hope that those shoot up. I'm gonna go one further there and right there. So got those down to size a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back to the Zelkovas. So, Look at this growth. This is entirely new since we planted it. All of this growth going straight up, right? So we'll start with this first tree right here and we're just gonna cut it way back. Get some semblance of a forest again on these trees. That one just took off in such a unique direction that I don't think we need to keep that length whatsoever. So we're gonna cut these all back pretty darn short and see what growing outside is gonna do next to these trees. So come into the back here a little bit. We're going down to two to four leaves. This one's coming back from the fourth tree and way over there. We're gonna go ahead and cut that off right there. This one's coming in from the middle tree. This one right here from the middle tree. This one's growing way over. And again, I'm not really focused on a ton of, uh, of um, major ideas here other than a little bit of directional pruning if i can have a leaf go out towards the back here where i want it to go to the back i can do that this one is tangled from the tree to its side we can kind of move these into the uh, soil if we need to shift a little bit but just giving this a haircut nice new growth right there i think i'm going to leave that one there and take take get rid of that leaf but i'm going to leave that growth alone Come back here, and these are our shorter trees. So we got a lot of, a lot of nice growth in there, hopefully uh, setting those roots up for a lot of success. And we're just cutting off all these extra leaves that we really just don't need right now. 
Oops. There we go. So there we have our forest still kind of going down from left to right. And we're just thinning out this uh, massive uh, early growth of the Zelkovas. So like the Chinese elm, like my Siberian elm forest, the Zelkova pushing out a lot of growth early. Uh, there's a leaf going back here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that one. All right. And I'll be able to trim this thing a couple more times this year if I choose. I could just let it grow out full. We want to see where some of these uh, new uh, branches might come out from. And there we have trim number one. Now, in regards to the big oak tree, um, I see some little buds that uh, might be re uh, ready to pop here now that it's outside. So just an ever so small little trim here. We're just going to let the sun look at this guy and see where it wants to take it. There we have it, short and sweet. The landscape has been pruned up. I've got some uh, cakes here, a fertilizer. I'll give it one more spin here now with the new look. Coming around to the right here, all the trees nice and short. The view from the back with the greening up of the grass. The view through the trees, looking at the big oak tree in the center of the field and then back to the other more traditional front. So there is the landscape challenge. Now, this is one of many things I have to do yet this spring before we get to June. It is May the 8th as I'm trimming this today and uh, I got three weeks of busyness. And the first part of that is gonna be to tackle my yard with all the things that are in my yard. We're gonna get to that in the next video. So I wanted to get this one done and uh, I haven't put out a lot of videos of late, so this was a perfect little uh, re-entry here. After the uh, visit out to Bonsai Acres, I thought I'd catch you up on the landscape challenge. So a little bit of greening up here in the moss in the middle, a little greening up on the moss on the edges. Um, it's coming together and we'll continue to prune it uh, to make sure the leaves stay small and try to keep the scale as close as possible. One of the really hard parts about this is the scale. So that'll do it. Hey, take care of you, take care of your bonsai, and we're gonna catch you very soon on a lot of spring work.